Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmont Tone. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. You're not, you're not on, Mike. Yeah, I can tell. You're yeah, you, if, if, you got to look at your camera, Mike. I you, am. You, you're not on, right? You can't see yourself, right? That's right. I, I can't see you. I can't see myself, no. Okay, so when you, when you see yourself, you start speaking. <laughs> got it? Got it. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we're talking about the Collins Center gave a, a set of recommendations to a joint meeting of the Town Select Board, Warrant Committee, and School Committee on August 3rd. Franklin, what did they recommend? Well, well, number one, it, uh, this is a, a report that took about seven months to uh, complete, um, and they were very blunt about well, the, the issues that are causing uh, a great amount of concern uh, for them, just seeing how uh, Belmont is being run. Um, they, I'm sorry. That's yes. my fault. Fucked up. We need to have your camera back a little further. Ooh. You're fine. Uh -oh. you're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'm now in the distance. Okay, so we can. That's okay. Hi. <laughs> can you move over that way a little bit? There we go. That's better. Okay. But now I'm way over. Yeah, it's okay. It's very, very modern. Oh. Uh, you're right. Go back. I'm sorry. You're all right. Okay. Remember to look at your look at that. Mm -hmm. And you need to speak up just a little bit, Franklin. For some do reason, I do I need to go into my command voice? You need to be. Yeah, you need. To be I need voice. to be in my command voice. It's a little. It's a little too loud. Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we're talking about, for starters, the Collins Center recently gave a set of recommendations regarding the town's finances. Franklin, what can you tell us? Well, first off, uh, the Collins Center is a um, is a. Sorry, I, I, I was looking at something else. Sorry. That's right. <clears throat> Jeff, can we start again? Yes, we will.
Sorry, your audio is not being recorded. Hang on, let me get you back on frame here. Ah. See if you can unmute your mic, Mike. Now we're set. <clears throat> All right, testing one, two, three. I think we're ready. Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, to top what we'll be talking about, the Collins Center recently made a set of recommendations to the town about its finances. Franklin, what can you tell us? Well, first off, the Collins Center is uh, based over in uh, UMass Boston, and it's dedicated in, uh, to improving efficiencies, effectiveness, uh, governance, and accountability uh, for local government. Uh, this, is a, <clears throat> this is the fourth time that the Collins Center has come to Belmont to help basically, you know, find out how to best serve, how the, how the government can best be served. And Franklin, are they, are they making a different set of recommendations than they did before, or they they had a different uh, uh, task before them at this time? What 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 did they do? What what have they done in terms of their recommendations that are new? This is a very comprehensive and very thorough uh, recommend uh, set of recommendations. This will have very historic uh, impact in Belmont. It basically will change how the governance is structured in Belmont, and it also would change how budgets are done. Uh, uh, just uh, in um, you know what they what they said is that Belmont was uh, one of the most decentralized uh, government uh, governments in the whole state of Massachusetts. It's just it just doesn't have a strong center. So, um, in, in other words, um, given the, the 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 committee structure that 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 you know our town government is built on, what they're saying is that decision making is too diffuse. That's exactly right. And what they're recommending recommending is that uh, the select board and the town administrator get more power, basically. They become the leaders <clears throat> in terms of uh, government, uh, in terms of the government, and also the budget process. The budget process would go through the select, uh, the select board, and the town administrator, and through a new financial management committee. Um, uh, so, in terms of the budget, that would be different. In terms of the government, it, again, it would be giving much more power to. Um, uh, the select board and the town administrator, but that's not unusual. Uh, most communities have that type of structure. And they, would, they, they went back and they looked at everything that was ever done in Belmont. Okay. And they found out that ever since Belmont was, uh, the, was created, basically incorporated 1859. in 1859, not one time in our bylaws do we say that the select board is the, uh, in fact, the, elect, uh, the executive body for the town. Well, so Franklin, a question for you then is, you know, given the, the wide ranging or the, the significant scope of the recommendations that they're making, are we talking about the need for uh, extensive revision of bylaws in order to implement their recommendations? That's right. You can look at um, everything from, uh, you know, changing uh, how we are governed and that would go through uh, many processes, either by bylaw or um, uh, or even charter reform. Uh, so um, it, this will be something that we are going to be, uh, that's going to be discussed 
Uh, but but so far, you know, we, 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 they've already started uh, some of the recommendations, such as a, a new financial management committee. And well, now, now, tell me about this financial management committee. You're not talking about the Warren committee. That's right. This would be this would be more uh, this would be more in terms of uh, developing a budget, uh, developing the finances. This won't be reviewing the budget. It will be actually creating the budget, okay. and it would be much more uh, front ended. Um, their recommendation is that capital needs are the first thing you do. You know, the, you, you decide how much money you're going to spend on capital. Then you put a firewall between that and the budget, and then you move on to the budget. And then it would be the town administrator and the, and the select board approving basically how you're going to run uh, uh, the budget. You know, the select board would then make recommendations. It would say, you know, let's uh, have a little bit more priority for one section or one department or if we have, uh, can we do uh, a lot more in terms of uh, financial forecasting? All right, Franklin. So, so um, where do things go from here? Will, will, you know, are we automatically set at this point for some discussion before a future town meeting about changing bylaws or actually, what, what's your sense of, of how this, how this rolls out? Actually, we'll be having a public meeting at the end of August. It would be uh, basically allowing the public to have uh, some com to have comments about those recommendations. And by the by, our and we will have a, a special town meeting. Uh, I think the week before uh, Thanksgiving this year, uh, we will be doing some of these recommendations and seeing if if, if where we're going to be going, how we're going to be implementing uh, any, if all. Not if all, but if any of these recommendations. Okay, thank you, Franklin. Next up, the uh, the Rink Building Committee has scheduled a public forum for for August seventeenth. Um, and Franklin, what can you tell us about that? Well, this is uh, the, the this public meeting is is in response to many people saying that there was just not enough transparency in terms of uh, how the, how uh, the entire process has been going forward since January when the building committee was first developed and after the uh, uh, basically after the uh, select board said that they were going to allow a a um, a, a debt exclusion for mm -hmm. this. Um, um, uh, building. So there will be uh, uh, that meeting and it's going to be the first of uh, at least three. You know, there will be one in September and one in October. Before we hit the debt exclusion. That's in right. Okay. And we, oh, you also should realize that the um, the rink this week will receive uh, $200,000 in ARPA funds. Now, to, now talk, tell me about that. What is the purpose of that? Yeah, it's kind of a, it's, it brought a, a a lot of people had their, <laughs> it did have a bit of an eyebrow raising uh, quality to that because what you're basically saying is that we want this uh, building process to go forward, you know, by hiring subcontractors and, you know, not letting it stall out. But that's kind of saying, well, we expect this to pass that exclusion. You know, <laughs> and, you know it's, uh, we don't, we really don't know what, what, what what's going to be happening in the future. So that, So some people are saying, where are we putting money into this project if we don't know if it's going to pass? Well, there's a lot. Uh, the, the building committee basically says that you know there, there's going to be have, there's going to be a lot of other things that are going to be done, such as the fields, uh, the white field, the white field house has to be demolished. So some of that money will go to that, so it I won't see. be wasted. All right, and so the uh, the rink forum will be held on August 17th at 6 p.m. and BMC will be covering it on Comcast Channel 8, as well as Verizon Channel 28. Next up, the police chief has had his annual review. Franklin, did he fail or did he pass? He passed. Uh, uh, if, if, if you could give him a, a, a grade, it would be A+. Plus. Okay. Uh, and out of, a, out of um, basically, he was uh, reviewed by the select board and by the town administrator. And out of a out of a five point uh, maximum, he he received a four point eight seven five. So, summa cum laude, let's say. All right. <laughs> yeah, he would. He got very high remark uh, marks. Um, uh, as Adam Dash said, he installed confidence in the police department, which is hard to do these days. And when the uh, national public opinion uh, for the police is very low, he has brought it, he has kept it um, uh, high in Belmont. So that was a great. Um, um, uh, endorsement of him. Um, he he uh, received a, a merit uh, increase along with his annual increase, so okay. now he's making about $200,000 a year. All right. Well, um, in his case, I think most people would agree that it's well-deserved. That's right. 23 years of service also. All right. 
Um, next up, Bob Upton is back. That's T tell us about what's happening with Bob Upton. That's right. Bob Upton uh, retired. Uh, he was our veteran service agent, and um, he, he was a real loss, as, as many people would say, because he was just so active and in, 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 in promoting of, of veterans' uh, issues and also uh, making sure that people's uh, people received their um, <clears throat> uh, received all their services that they that they had. So it was a, it was a it was a sad moment when he left. But it turned out that um, you know retirement wasn't for him. So he couldn't he, he couldn't handle <laughs> retirement. He couldn't. He it basically you know it got back to the town that uh, he, he might want to come back and and believe me. And the health department where where the veteran service uh, agent uh, comes through, um, they basically said oh, if he wants to come back, we'll take him. <laughs> All right, Franklin. Well, we're, go we're glad to have Bob Upton back. And uh, Franklin, we'll see you next time. That's it for this week's edition of uh, the News Now with uh, Franklin Tucker. And if you'd like to see more of Franklin's reporting, please be sure to visit Belmontonian.com. See you next time.